we are at NPE and we just happened to find UBQ. If you've never heard of UBQ, join the club, neither had I. What we're going to talk about is this process that they've developed that takes waste and converts it into something very usable. What we do is that we take what I call the garbage of the garbage. We take everything that you want to throw away. If you're a good recycler, take out whatever you want. We will end up with what you're going to throw away, which is a lot of food scraps, that pizza box full of grease that no one wants to recycle, uh, the 17 layer film that is unrecyclable, and even things like diapers. And not only do we take the diapers, we like them dirty, okay? Because we don't mind the organic content. And what we're able to do with everything that I just described is turn it into a new material that didn't exist in the world before. It's called UBQ. And the beauty of that material is that although it is not a thermoplastic, I'm sorry, it is not a polymer, it is thermoplastic. So we can use it to replace polymers uh, partially or totally in many applications. All right, that's cool. Now, I see a specific part here yes. that is near and dear to my heart because yep. it's polycarbonate. Yes. So let's talk about what you're doing here. So look at the beauty of this. This is made, this is actually 3D filament right. made with uh, post-consumer uh, polycarbonate recycle and UBQ. So not only is it, yes, and then from that, they made this nice little boat. Very okay. cool. All 3D printed. What is the beauty of this? It was all post-consumer recycle, but UBQ brings a lot of additional environmental advantages to the product. It is probably, from what we know, the most climate positive or carbon negative material in the world today. And on top of that, obviously we're very bio-based. Remember all those food scraps that, that, that you throw away. Uh, and you can, probably the most resource efficient material in the world. No one would argue that we would prefer to put material into a landfill or incinerate it instead of turning it into all these wonderful products. Exactly. So from my perspective, this is a very nice example of circularity. Uh, this is a great example of not wasting very valuable resources such as plastics. And the fact that you have such a broad capability to look at all of these different types of polymers and other organic content and convert it into something usable is truly mind boggling. This is a solution today that can help us all have a better world without having to give up all of the good things that plastics have brought to the world. Love it, and again, to reinforce, we're not at the pilot, we're not at the small scale, not in the lab, this is real world. Thank you. Thank you.